Today we visited uh, this area of uh, Ezingolwen, uh, an area that uh, just witnessed one of uh, the gruesome attacks on women, uh, young and old. Uh, we lost about uh, four women a few days ago on the first of this month, uh, where an unknown uh, person came in uh, to really destroy lives of these uh, families. It's a very sad moment. Uh, I decided on behalf of government to visit this area, to talk to the community, talk to the traditional leadership, everyone, councillors. Uh, this is a follow-up visit to a visit that has been done by police, uh, led by the provincial commissioner. We really commend the work that our South African police service is doing here, and also the community has been quite uh, uh, impressed uh, by the work that our police are doing. Uh, at least uh, four suspects uh, are being actually uh, ask questions by police uh, just to uh, look at all the issues of investigations properly. We hope that soon there will be a proper arrest uh, arising out of uh, uh, that uh, the rigorous process that our police are, have embarked on. Uh, it's a very bad thing. We're really condemning this uh, thing. This attack on women and attack on uh, f uh, kids who are uh, young girls, it's completely not acceptable. So we really want to appeal to all men out there to understand this, that this war against women, it's a problem. We have got war that we are waging against coronavirus. Let's all have the energy to work uh, to save more lives against coronavirus. We can't afford to have other lives that are being taken by other people uh, just from nowhere. So we do really condemn and we hope that soon all culprits or perpetrators will definitely be behind bars and they will work with police. The community here has pledged uh, support and solidarity on the work that government is doing and the uh, police will definitely get into these uh, uh, individuals. Yes, uh, the issue of uh, uh, crime that is being more attributed on drugs, the drug abuse, which is be almost becoming a common problem. And if you actually look at how these incidences are happening, almost on each and every first day of a month, these things are, ha are happening. Women are under attack, old women are being attacked. So it tells you that uh, these people are people, are local people who understand that there is this kind of a, a cash flow that happens uh, almost around those days because people are getting their social security grants. But government uh, is going to work on the ground. Police are going to remain here to make it a point that we uproot this kind of uh, an anarchy and this chaos and uh, really remove uh, these bad uh, elements in our society.